In 1950, we had 746 million people living in cities. By 2014, this reached 3.9 billion. We expect by 2050, 6.4 billion people in cities. China, India, Nigeria, these are places where we see big cities coming up. People come for economic opportunity. They don't really think about the risks they face. The more you see climate change, the more you see extreme events become more frequent and more severe. You have more population and economic value at risk. Most cities have outgrown their original location, so people are living in areas that are more exposed to some kinds of natural hazards. My AXA research project is about metrics and measurements for urban resilience. One of the key findings is that in the developing world, you have very little basic data. To know exactly who you have in those areas mm -hmm. and what they are vulnerable to, you can then start looking at, well, what infrastructure do we need? The data seems the first place to start. In a developed city, the government has more access to data, it has more policy levers it can pull, it has the private sector which functions pretty well. In a developing city, you don't necessarily have that. It's the role of government, I think, to create the right environment so that businesses and people take the right decisions. Awareness is a key issue. If people know the kind of risks, then we're better able to change our behavior on a daily basis. Do you think there's such a thing as overpopulation in cities? There's a perceived overpopulation. If you don't invest adequately in infrastructure and services, people then feel that as an overpopulation. I agree. I think if we plan for people to come to cities um, and we have the services that are there, then it's possible to make a resilient, livable city. Mm -hmm.